Hello and welcome to the Dad Pod Newer Podcast. I'm Ben Kaysen here with Matt Smith, the writer of Serial Dad Preneur. Matt, how you doing? I am amazing. Dad Pod Newer. We I just came it. up with the name. That's our new name. We love it. We're going to coin that and we're going to own the website by the end of this podcast here. So, we're own yes, the website. Pod Newer. Dad Pod Newer. And so, so this is a podcast to talk a lot about the book and about yourself and, um, you know, the Serial Dad Preneur book. Let's, let's talk about the name. So you chose Serial Dad Preneur for the name of the book, assuming that obviously it represents you. Um, can you tell me about that? What, what comes into that choice of Serial Dadpreneur? Uh, yeah, Serial Dadpreneur. It's a weird name and it takes a little, a little bit to say it a couple times. But uh, yeah. yeah, dad I like it emphasizes uh, you know, my, my why and the most important part of my life is a family. Mm. Um, and then the preneur is, is the other part of my life that uh, is, is an entrepreneur. You know? mm. So it's combined together. It's the dadpreneur. So, and that's why this is the pod newer. And then Serial came into play on the book is because uh, you know, multiple businesses, multiple children. So, uh, and we had some fun with it. So it's not just... Cereal as in cereal. It's as in cereal as in bowl of cereal. So cereal mm, dadpreneur. That's both where, ways. That's where that side of it. But uh, yeah, my history, uh, you know, I talk about it a lot in the book of lessons that I've learned. And, and you know, the goal with the cereal dadpreneur is to try to help as many mompreneurs, dadpreneurs, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, families in, in as many aspects as I possibly can with the lessons that I've learned in my own life. You know, I've been blessed. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, sometimes I pinch myself. I am so unbelievably blessed mm. with the woman of my dreams, uh, I have married the woman of my dreams that I am, I fall more madly in love with every single day of my life. I have three healthy, beautiful children that are just good humans that care about life and people. Um, and, and they're just so good. And, uh, you know, and I'm blessed with, with several businesses, been in the business industry. I've, I've, I've owned and sold and owned and sold. And, you know, I've been through 10 different industries and 10 different businesses in my life. So, hmm. you know, I, I tried to create a book to, to tell these stories and, and to, 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 to really help other people realize that, that balance, hmm. you know, um, my balance, I think is a, is a young child. I, I do think of myself and I think of, I grew up with a single mother, you know, I grew up with a single mother of two kids. Uh, my dad, pretty much when I was born, my brother was two years old. I was born. My dad, moved to Texas, um, mm. to kind of chase his dreams and to try to make money and do his thing. Um, and you know, little communication for, for many, many years of our lives. But now, you know, my dad is, is a great grandpa to my children. So nothing bad to say about my dad, but he was not there. And this is something that he would say as well. Like my dad was definitely not present. He's apologized for it now. Um, but he's, he's got a second chance and he's a good grandpa now. So, yeah. but anyway, so my, my mom, my mom struggled with understanding money and, mm. and really it was never a priority to her and bless her heart. She did whatever she, she lacked in money. She made up for in love and spirit and, mm. and God and, and everything else. She just gave us everything she could possibly give us. But I remember as a child, you know, there's a one distinct memory that I'll never forget, but this is, there's several different times. But one time I remember leaving church, coming home and her stopping it, it, the homeless guys on the street and her giving like, I, I want to say it was $20 and some food that, that, that we just got groceries or something. Yeah. And, and I remember going to our, our duplex, our little one bedroom duplex over um, in, in Belmont area. And, and I remember our power got shut off and it was just like the most nonchalant thing to my mom because that was never her priority in life. It was like, ah, you know, and I'm like, we just gave the homeless guy this money. Uh, maybe could have paid our power bill. Yeah. And, and it was just like, well, we'll use candles and you know, I get paid in a couple of days. We'll figure it all out. But that was, that was the beauty of my mom. Um, it just the most, I, I wouldn't change my upbringing for anything in the world. I, I, I was raised by an angel on earth mm. who is now an angel in heaven. Um, but she just, was she was she, just my best friend, but she truly made me understand the importance of family. Hmm. You know, that's where that, like, I truly think of my upbringing. I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for the, the family side of it. But then I also knew the, the newer side of it was always like, I, I wanted a freedom. I, I didn't want my electricity to get shut off. And I wanted to be sure. able to do stuff for my kids and, and let them see the world. Like our, our vacations were always San Isabel. We never got to really go on a vacation because we just couldn't afford it. You know, that wasn't sure. something that was even a, a thing. Um, so, it was that that was where kind of in my head as a child I, I just knew that okay I, I needed to figure out money I needed to figure out how money worked and I needed to to be present as a father because I didn't have a father and I I knew what it was to be a child that your dad wasn't there for a game or your dad wasn't there for your first play or when I was going to sing and yeah. you know but I didn't know any different I didn't know any better it wasn't like it was bad it was just I I knew that I needed to to overcompensate for that because in my own head 
it was, it was the most important thing on my planet. Like, and when I had a child, my life changed. It was flipped upside down where mm. I knew all priorities were different. Everything was different. My entire life is revolved around these babies. And, mm. and when I met my wife, same thing. Like I am so blessed to just, just to have a soulmate, you know, a lot of people mm. can't, you know, they, they struggle and there's a lot of things, but you know, and I'll also say in the book, I talk a lot about how, like, you may look at the outside looking in on a lot of people's lives, your life, my life, other people's lives, like, oh, they just, they, they have a lot of great things going in their life, but it's been work. It's been a lot of work and it's been a lot of grind and a lot of determination to get to where you want on both sides of it, on my family side of it and on the business side of it. Yeah. And, and that's what the book was written for was to try to show those lessons that I've learned, try to, to help that next person because the, the balance of dad and, and, and entrepreneur, it can be a struggle. Yeah. I mean, and you see, from my perspective in this chair, right, I've been working with Wake Up, which Matt is the owner now. So I can see you grinding every day in the week. I mean, you're running around all over the place, getting boxes all the time. You're waking up. What time do you wake up? 4.30, you were telling me? 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. 4.30 every morning. Like you're up, you're grinding, you go for runs in the morning, you go through all that process, you own all these businesses. But then at the same time, like, you know, I'll be following your Facebook and I'll see like this last weekend, like, where'd you go with your kids? Like, like you, you had these great pictures on Facebook. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely been a priority. And, uh, you know, Gaylord of the Rockies is where we went this weekend. And it was just such a, a special thing for our kids. But I do yeah. like, uh, you know, I was in retail. I sold mattresses for 18 years and I, I worked every single weekend for 18 years of my life. Hmm. And I, I told myself when my kid was old enough, I would never work weekends again and I would be present and I would be there for every baseball game, football game, soccer, whatever that game was, I was going to be there. And when my son turned two years old, I retired from, from retail and did mm. this on my own and said, you know, best decision I ever made. But yeah, stuff like this, this weekend, like I am all the weekend before I was skiing with my kids. Like it yeah. is one of my chapters is making memories and, and the importance of making your memories and, and, and what that really means. Uh, and, and it's, it's, it's hard because, you know, one of the, the things I, I, I talk about in the book is, is the priority of making memories. Yeah. Like so many people get stuck in the rat race of working and then going home and working and then so tired that you just go to bed or you watch TV and then you start all over the next day and you get in this rut and then it's like, gosh, I hope I get a promotion. You get a promotion, you get a couple bucks. And then it's like, okay, mm -hmm. did that really change your life? But you've not changed or, or been able to adapt. You're always just, you're just swimming and swimming. And mm -hmm. I, I like to use the analogy of like when your car transmission breaks, mm -hmm. somehow you find $2,000 or $3,000 or whatever to fix that transmission. Your tires go out, you find a thousand bucks to go buy tires. Sure. But when you need a break and you need to fill your cut back up, you just never find time to go on a vacation. You never find time to get out of town. You never find time to make those memories. And, you know, we all got 24 hours in a day and it's really being able to bend that time. I talk about it in several different chapters on how, you know, a lot of strategies on how to use your time wisely where you can, you can still do everything you do now, but just bend that time a little bit, use it a little bit more wisely. So mm. yeah, I've, I've definitely been blessed. And, and through this book, I'm trying really hard to help other dads and entrepreneurs, you know, try to balance that. That's fantastic. And, you know, talking more about the book, like I remember there's, there's a moment in the book that you're talking about that kind of snapped you into this mentality. Like you started taking things seriously. You're talking about like your why moment came from this. Can you tell me a little bit about this story? Yes. Uh, one of the chapters is the power of why. And, 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 uh, yes, this is a story that most people do not know about me, but I, hmm. you know, I thought it was so important in the book that, I grew up again. I, I wasn't the, the the greatest kid on the planet. I you know I knew I knew right from wrong. My mom instilled so much love into me, but um, you know I I got in some trouble. I drank some beers. You know I I, I wasn't getting good grades for a long period of time. Mm. Um, but I you know from an integrity standpoint, I always knew right from wrong. My mom trained me on, but I hung out with the wrong people sometimes, and I, I did some things. But uh, you know New Year's night of 1999, I'll never forget. I was at a party on the east side of Pueblo, and um, I got stabbed. Mm. I got stabbed in a gang fight. Eight of us versus about 30 other guys that were in a gang, mm. and it was like a slow motion replay. I'll never forget it. It I still goes in my head in super slow motion, how it all went down. And I go into details in the book on how this went down, but yeah. you know, ultimately you'll see in this book that that was the pivotal moment. That was a change in my life that I knew this was not Matt Smith. And this is who, this is not who I want to be for the rest of my life. And in the book, I talk a little bit about that. Why it goes into a lot more detail sure. on that moment in life and what really just triggered and, uh, you know, I, I definitely recommend that read this book to, to, to see a little bit more about that side of it, but it was my, why it was my moment in life. And we all have our moments. I'm, I'm a believer that it, 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 we all sometimes hit rock bottom and rock bottom is the best thing that ever happened to us hmm. because without being down there, there's nowhere but up from there, you know? And, and I've been, sure. I, I was, I talk about that moment when I got stabbed 
and I will talk for the rest of my life. It was the best thing that ever happened to me in mm. my life at that time. You know, wow. it's, it's not more important than my wife and my kids, but in my life at that time, it was the best thing that ever happened to me by far. And it made me who I am today. Wow. That's crazy, Matt. Yeah. I mean, you got to go check out the book to check out that story because that's just so wild. Yeah. Most people that know me and know, I like, know the that. other side of me are like, what? You were stabbed? Yes. I have a wound on my back. It was two inches away from my spine as I talk in there. Wow. And it, they said I would have been paralyzed from the waist down if they would have hit my spine. And a few of my other buddies, as, as described in the book, got stabbed as well. Um, and we spent some time in the hospital, but it was, it mm. was, uh, it was yeah. eye opening. That is an eye opening woman. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hey, thank you, Matt, for talking about that. I mean, yeah. How, how did they find your book? How did they find the serial dadpreneur? Um, it'll, it, we were doing the audible here. So we are going to have the audible version out, yep. um, uh, on, on Amazon. You buy the book on Amazon, you'll buy the audible on uh, audible as well. We're gonna have a lot of promotions on serial dadpreneur.com spelled both ways, serial and serial. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, so both sites, you will have all of that. And, um, yeah, we'll be doing a lot of different promotions. So stay tuned on the website, follow the website. We have our, my Facebook page as well. Matt Smith, uh, dad Panure. Uh, Matt Smith Pueblo is, uh, my Instagram and then, uh, Matt Smith as well on LinkedIn. So follow us on all of that and you will see updates as this stuff comes out. We'll have a lot of promotions. We'll probably give away a lot of books. Uh, we'll have some book signing, different things. And, you know, um, so yeah, you know, the, the goal is to, to help to find that balance. You know, there's a, there's a mm. big juggle here. And if you've been on one side or the other, you understand the juggle. And I'm just hoping that I can help that juggle with many different people. Absolutely. That's a powerful message, Matt. Thank you so much for coming on again. This is the dad pod newer. We'll be back with more episodes of this every week, kind of, you know, giving more of a yeah. insight into your life and a little bit more of a, you know, insight into the book. And so you can check that out and learn more about how to balance that correctly. And, uh, yeah, go check out the book, Dadpreneur, Serial Dadpreneur. Absolutely, yeah. And that the goal here is on the next podcast is I, I think we want to talk a little bit about what that what that really means. And then going through this, we're going to try to let a little bit more about this book. And then I want to get some good uh, dadpreneurs in this in this podcast as well, the people yeah. that are actually out there doing this thing. So I got a lot of heroes in my own life that I think that are they're doing pretty well at one side or the other. So there you go. Keep your eye on the Dad Pod Newer podcast. Dad Pod Newer coming in hot. Thanks, Ben, as always. Yeah. Uh, I look forward to our next episode. Hey, thanks, Matt. Appreciate you. And uh, thank you so much for listening. Have a great rest your day.